since when do I start vlogs in downtown Cleveland? I have a job and I'm white. All right, racism aside, I do apologize for that, but Alex and I are up here. How you doing? He's back there. Um, today's Wednesday, we have five, well, we both have five, six period off now, so that gives us two hours between 11.08 and uh, 1.30, no more than two hours, I guess, to do whatever, so we're just... Colt, this looks familiar. We parked, when you were here, Colt, we parked in this deck over here by the stadium, and uh, we walked over on the other side of this building to the waterfront. As if I haven't filmed it before, there's the... Hall of Fame and uh, watch the over here. this and the boat we rode on. And this looks a lot nicer up here in the summer. There's absolutely nobody here. Surprise. Yeah, this is the spot where it gets a tad cocked. All this stuff washes in and gets stuck for years until they clean it out. There's that Jag I filmed before. I think this is the XJ or X type or something. XJS. Cool. Ah, beautiful car to find in a not so beautiful city. At least today, it's not beautiful. When we do this in two months, and it's 72 degrees, and the sun's out, and everything's green, it's gonna be awesome. Remember, there's the good time three. Colt, you and I rode that. I was up the day before with my grandparents. We're all the way over here now. He took a look at the Panamera. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, we probably could have parked over here. That would have been a lot less walk, and it wouldn't have cost five bucks. I'm kind of a noob coming up here to Cleveland, and I don't know where to park, so we just saw a place for five dollars. He offered to pay, so we just did that. But I'm sure we could have... Actually, if you park here on East 9th, I think it's metered, but I have no change. The smallest bill I have is a 10, so that wouldn't have worked. That's right, I was just trying to think when the last time I was here was, and I think it was the air show, right? It was the air show, and... Uh, Alex is cold, it's 35 degrees, and he, he, he doesn't have a jacket. It's in the car, or it's at school? It's at school. It's at school. So, yeah, uh, Burke Front, or Bay Burke, whatever airport's over there, and that's where the air show was. I feel like I've been up here since, but I don't know why. I drove up here, but we never got out of the car and walked. So there's the uh, whole barge that is parked here in Cleveland. Ryan's uh, walking ahead. What is it, like 500 feet long? I'm not sure, but it's pretty big. It's freezing. Ken and I'm looking for the red stripe out here. Um, I think I filmed, a, I vlogged about it before. When we used to come up here years ago to take that boat ride, we would see what we call the red stripe. And I don't see it, probably because of the wretched weather conditions, but let's see. What is the red stripe? There's a boat out there that looks like, what do we call it? The red stripe. Oh. Well, that makes sense then. Come and film it. See if you can zoom in. It's pretty far away, it's but I'll... It's like crap. It's probably... I'll fun. try. You can see part of the propeller on that thing hanging out of the water. Kind of hard to see, but there's part of it hanging out, which means it's a tad bit dicked and it'll probably never run again, but whatever. All right, guys. I was wondering if you guys think I should start a vlog. Yeah. If I, I told him you should start a channel. And if I do... Would you care to follow me on it? It'd be uh, greatly appreciated if you do. And please leave your comments in Ryan's comment section below. Uh, yeah, thanks. Now I'm going to try and film the red boat way out there, even though you can't even see it on here. It just looks like a bunch of water. Where is it? Yeah, you can't see it at all. But there is a red boat out there. With a stripe. We're gonna get dicker. So you're back into my slightly warmer hands. And uh, that, there's the there's the money. Can money get paid? Yeah. I don't think the camera. Oh, the camera does kind of see it. That's a McDouglas MD. Oh, 88 maybe. Going into Cleveland Hopkins, which is a few miles west here of downtown. That looked way cool coming through the clouds, though. And seeing that plane makes me think that in 50 days from today, I'll be en route to San Diego. And I'll be dicked here. And Alex will be dicked here. Um, which sucks for him, but he said he loves it here and he wants to stay, right? No. No. All right. Well. Nobody loves it here. So I remember when I first put the date in my iPhone, it said 140 days. 
So that's been uh, 90 days ago now, three months. It doesn't feel like it's that long. Time's going really fast, isn't it? Yeah. It's already the end of January, and that's good news. January is our worst month. Then probably February and November. Yeah, there's geese crap everywhere. So we're walking back to the car, then we need to leave and get back so I can do my engineering drawing and Alex can take his photo class with uh, Gretzel. leave about three hours early though. Yeah, well, that'll be cool. Back in the car. Thank God, because my arms are... Oh yeah, you could pick that up. They're beet red from the cold. Like yeah, I'm living in a freaking meat locker. And take a look at the... Um, the what is that? Windmill, windmill or something you. like that. The windmill isn't even moving, so... It, it isn't windy, but it, it's cold. It is 35 according to the car, and I think the iPhone said 34. All right, well, there's the memorial of firemen of some sort. I don't know what the hell that is for, but whatever. There's no traffic up here. It's, just, it's like a ghost town. Yeah, it is. There's, um, East 9th was a little busier for anybody that knows Cleveland. Yeah, Cleveland's a better city than some people give it credit for. Yeah. If the city were in a good part of the world, it would be a good place to live. A city of industry, but it is not in a good place in the world. I mean, geologically it is. Look at that, lucky. look at that through the camera. It's like a fucking dick. I don't know why I'm still filming, but it's fun. Yeah, this so, is yeah. another city car. Every other car we pull up next to is a cop, a city car, a water car. It's good, there's a strong police presence here. Why don't you tell them how many cops we saw? More than 10, I guarantee it. On the way here, 25, 30 minute drive, more than 10 cops, it's ridiculous. Yeah. So anyway, as I say again, please leave a comment section below on if I should start a vlog or not. I just need to get some supplies for it. Like obviously what I'm filming on now, which would be a camera and yeah, another, oh God. <laughs> Ryan just went through a yellow light. It's orange. It's going 400 miles per hour down the side streets. Easy. Oh yeah, this thing, this thing right here. Oh God. This thing can hit 500 miles per hour. No problem. Oh, look at that. Another cop. Yeah. Yeah, they're everywhere. Two chubby guys walking across the street right there. <laughs> Be nice. I'm being nice. They are what they are. They're chubby. Which I'm chubby too, but... Whatever. I gotta beat this guy off the light here. He's gonna I'm he's gonna beat light. this guy off the light. It's a four, no, it's no problem. Just give it shit. Uh, give it pie. Yeah. Give it pie. Pie. Well, this lane over here that I would be going into says road closed. Road work. Give it a, give it a little bit of slice. Slice of pie there. Not much. Doesn't need much. There's another police car. Another one. That makes about 25. Just decker. Thank God I caught it in time, barely. But it, it was a steel yard with a bunch of steel coils. I thought it was pretty cool. What do you think, Ryan? Well, yeah, that's what the city is all about. A big production of steel. Not as much anymore, unfortunately. It's an insurance city now. Yeah, that's that's what made us hot in the, I think, Probably 50s. The, yeah, through the 80s, I think. 50s through the 80s was steel, just like Pittsburgh. All right. Welcome back, it's 3.10, and I just got back from school, it was a pretty good day. And it's never really warmed up, it's still 35 and completely overcast. And this is all the snow we have left. And that's all I care about now, so I'll talk to you later. Right, so friggin' now we're downtown and we have come across the Chevy Volt. That's not on fire. Here's what I think of it. Yeah, oh, traction. That's what Ryan says to green <laughs> technology, just cure it with some petrol. All right, guys, it's 9.01. It feels like it's about midnight. Look at this, it's just so dark and there's nobody out. But today was Taylor's last day at Best Buy. He wasn't really fond of the job and found something a little bit better online. So uh, he is retiring, you know, with full pension and uh, his 401k is doing great. Not really. But we went over there today to meet him and just say hi. Uh, so we did that and we also got some um, hot chocolates at uh, Panera but we didn't film that. I need to shift some gears and pay attention. And uh, I'm gonna head home now, do some emails and get this together, and I probably won't have anything exciting to say to you in three seconds on the next clip. All right, uh, 10.40, I'm watching an old-time 40s video here. I think you just uploaded this one today. It's about the blog TV and other stuff, kind of a vlog. And I mentioned that uh, train radio that I would talk about today. This vlog's already too long, so I'll just throw it in tomorrow, but I did 
figured it out and I found it. Um, if I can come across a 9 volt, I'll put it in and see if we can get it working. Also talking to Bobby, but um, that's it for today. It's a good day. It's 10.41 and I'll talk to you tomorrow on 4.10. Good night, guys. All right, uh, 1040. I'm watching an old time 40s video here. I think you just uploaded this one today. It's about the blog TV and other stuff, kind of a vlog. And I mentioned that uh, train radio that I would talk about today. This vlog is already too long, so I'll just throw it in tomorrow's. But I did figure it out and I found it. Um, if I can come across a 9 volt, I'll put it in and see if we can get it working. Also, talking to Bobby. But um, that's it for today. It's a good day. It's 1041, and I'll talk to you tomorrow on 410. Good night, guys.